it's your big homie Kev. This video is for music producers that want to learn how to copyright their music. You know what I mean? I haven't personally done this in a long time. I mean, I usually used to only worry about copywriting my music when I was starting off because I felt like at that time that, you know, somebody was going to steal my work or steal my ideas. And then I listen back to all of that music and then I'm like, it was horrible. So, you know, like I was, I really, I paid to copyright a whole bunch of garbage. That's me. That's my story. So, you know, but if you have some bangers and you, you know, you're real serious about copywriting your music and you don't want people to take your work and you want to do it this way, what you do is you go to www.copyright.gov, as you can see up here, and, um, you know, this will, you basically, this will tell you exactly how to do it. Now, when I was doing it, it was a total different process. Like, I had to uh, get, fill out some paperwork. I had to, first of all, download the paperwork. I believe it was from this website. I had to download the paperwork, fill out the paperwork, mail in the paperwork with, I think, like two CDs full of beats. I had to give them the names of the beats. I had to, you know, just, it was just a bunch of mess. And I think I did it like twice. Now, my experience was when I did it, it took like, you get this, um, let me see. I don't know where it is. But you, you get this, hold on real quick. And, and I know this is hood. I know you'd be like, Kev, man, you are the most ghetto person that I know. And so what? Um, I'm trying to find it. You get this stamp back. And it's this copyright stamp, and basically it's a form. It looks like the form that you send, but it's a copyright stamp, you know, that they send you, and you have your stamp, and it tells you all of the beats that's copywritten now and all of that. But, I mean, if you think about it, what does it really mean? Like, what are you really doing when you're copywriting your music? I mean, it'll take, like, six to seven months for you to get back any information anyway because the copyright office is always backed up. So, you know, if you don't know... This is, and it will be a lengthy process. It could be different for you because, like I said, I haven't done this in a minute. But if you want to copyright your music, this is how you do it. Now, you have to do some reading and, you know, you have to do some studying and figuring out which one applies to you. I think back when I was doing it, it was a, uh, I think it was either a PA form or SA form. Sound, sound record, or no, I think it was SR form. Uh, either a SR form or a PA form. The SR was sound recording and PA was something else. I think that was for songs or something like that. But so, you know, go to copyright.gov, figure out what exactly is the new process. I don't know what the new process is, but like I said, I haven't done it in years, but I do know this is where you start. So, you know, go ahead, do you got some homework to do. Go ahead, do this. If you haven't already, go to luxuryloops.com, download your free loops loop pack and uh subscribe to this video spread this video because a lot of music producers want to know how to copyright their music and if you if if this is not for you or if any video that i put up is not for you you know lots of producers so spread it and let them get in on the information because music producers sharing information and you know spreading information that's positive throughout the music industry will get us back on track as music producers. It, it'll have us all feeling like we are the music industry because a music producer is the music industry. So, you know, spread this information. If it's not for you, pass it on to someone that, you know, can use this information. And uh, we just, you know, keep it going. We just keep it going. So, peace. Have a good day. Peace.